Hello class, this is Mr. Sutton, and today we're going to be talking about trig application problems. Uh, so for this, there is no real um, notes part. There's nothing new that we're learning. We're just applying what we already know about solving trig uh, problems into real life examples. So for this, for your notes, what I would like for you to focus on is taking notes on how I'm translating the context that is given into creating a geometric picture that will help us solve the problem. So make sure you're following along with these examples and your notes and copying down the pictures that I am creating and making notes for yourself on where I am coming from, uh, how I'm creating these pictures. So first example, Nevea leans on a 22 Novea leans a 22 foot ladder against a wall so that it forms a 64 degree angle with the ground. How high up uh, of the wall does the ladder reach? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So we have our wall, we have the ground, and then the ladder leaned on the wall, something like that. So the wall and the ground create a 90 degree angle. So we wanna put a square there indicating that's the right angle. Now we know it's a 22 foot ladder, so we want to mark the length of this as being 22 feet against the wall so that it forms a 64 degree angle with the ground. So the angle between the ladder and the ground would be this angle, and that is 64 degrees. The angle between the ladder and the wall would be this angle up here, which is not the one we're talking about. How high up the wall does the ladder reach? So we are trying to find the distance along the wall. So we have our reference angle would be the angle that we're given here, the 64 degree angle. And the unknown side, the length of the wall would be the opposite side. And then the 22 feet, the ladder would be the hypotenuse. And this down here would be the adjacent side. Now for this one, we want to know the opposite side and we're given the hypotenuse. So we gotta think which trig function uses opposite and hypotenuse and that is the sine function. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So then we wanna go ahead and plug in what we know. We know the angle measure is 64. Opposite side is X and the hypotenuse is 22. So then we want to solve this for x, multiply by 22 on both sides, and you get 22 times the sine of 64 equals x, and then that is what we want to plug into our calculator. So when you do that, you should get x is approximately 19.7734690.2, which rounding to the nearest hundredth, the hundredth is the first two places after the decimal, so 19.77 feet, right? Uh, so there's one example. Let's go ahead and look at another example. A boat is heading toward a lighthouse whose beacon is 113 feet above the water. The boat's crew measures an angle of elevation uh, to the beacon is 11 degrees. What is the ship's horizontal distance from the lighthouse and the shore? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot if necessary. So, again, make sure you're following along in your notes here. We got a boat, and it's traveling toward a lighthouse. So, maybe the lighthouse looks something like this. Uh, and it says the beacon is 113 feet above water. So this distance is going to be 113 feet. The boat's crew measures an angle of elevation to the beacon that is 11 degrees. So the beacon, there's going to be some kind of invisible line here that goes from the boat to the beacon. And they're saying that angle of elevation is 11 degrees. What is the ship's horizontal distance from the lighthouse? So that would be this distance from the ship 
to the lighthouse. That is what we're trying to find. So we're going to call that X. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot if necessary. So the lighthouse is making a right angle with the horizon there. So this is our right triangle. Uh, we have a reference angle here that's 11. The opposite side would be this 113 feet. And then the distance between the boat and the lighthouse would be the adjacent side. So the function we want to use here would be tangent, because tangent is opposite over adjacent. So then we want to plug in 11 for the angle measure and 113 for the opposite side and x for the adjacent side. And solve this for x. So we'd multiply by x on both sides and then divide by tangent 11 on both sides. So that we get x equals 113 divided by tangent 11 and then plug that into our calculator and you should get x is approximately 581.3 3 rounded to the nearest tenth of a foot. I got 0 0.3346038. So this would be 581.3 feet. So make sure you have this example down as well in your notes. Here it says from the observation deck of a skyscraper, Brandon measures a 45 degree angle of depression to a ship in the harbor below if the observation deck is 1140 feet high what is the horizontal distance from the base of the skyscraper out to the ship round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot if necessary so we got our skyscraper um, and then our ship out in the harbor And so Brandon is up here and he's measuring a 45 degree angle of depression. So what that means is from his horizon line, so drawing a line straight out, uh, he is looking 45 degrees below that to get to the ship. So this angle right here is 45 degrees. Uh, and the observation deck, it says, is 1,140 feet high. And we want to know the horizontal distance. From the ship to the skyscraper. Uh, yep. So our right angle would be here. And then the horizon line that Brandon sees is parallel to the actual horizon line on the bottom here. So what we have here is alternate interior angles. If this is 45 degrees, this would be 45 degrees as well. So we can use this as a reference angle, 45 degrees. And then our opposite side <clears throat> would be the height of the skyscraper, 1,140 feet. And our adjacent side would be the distance from the ship to the skyscraper. So once again, we're using tangent for opposite over adjacent. So we got tangent of 45 equals 1140 over x solve for x multiply both sides by x divide both sides by tangent 45 And we get x is approximately, so 1,140 
divided by tangent 45, what do we get? That is approximately, it is exactly actually 1,140. And that is because tangent 45, if you type that into your calculator on its own, tangent 45 does equal one. So uh, 1,140 on that one. That is one of our special right triangles. All right, now getting into some of our level two type questions here. A boat is heading towards a lighthouse whose beacon light is 126 feet above the water from point A. The boat's crew measures angle of elevation to the beacon as 12 degrees before they draw closer. They measure the angle of elevation a second time from point B at some later time to be 25 degrees. Find the distance from point A to point B, round your answer to the nearest foot if necessary. So the difference between the level one questions and the level two questions, uh, it seems like is the level two questions is gonna require you to draw two triangles to solve. So let's see, so we have our boat here and this is point A. And we have our lighthouse. Up here. Uh, and so we have this distance from point A, it's a 12 degree measure. So this is and this is 126 feet above water and we're measuring this as 12 degrees from point A. So then we have point B somewhere in between and here we have a new measurement so as we get closer you can see this angle is going to get bigger so that would be 25 degrees given here and we want to find this distance so what I think we should do is find the adjacent distance for both triangles and then find the distance between those two triangles. So let's actually call the adjacent distance for position A. Let's call that little a and then we'll call the adjacent distance for position B. We'll call that little b. And then we can, yeah, we can still call this x. So we want to find a, little a and little b, find the difference between those, and that will give us this distance that we're looking for. Um, so for both of these, we want to use the opposite side, that is the height of the lighthouse. And little a and little b are both the adjacent side. So for both of these, we are going to be using tangent again. Tangent seems to be pretty popular for these word problems. So starting with uh, little a, so we got tangent 12 equals 126 over little a, and then tangent 25 is 126 over little b. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve these on my own. I'm gonna pause the video and do that. All right, so for a, I got 592.7833938. So that would be 126 divided by tangent of 12. And for b, I got 270.207872, and that would be 126 divided by tangent of 25. 
And then when you subtract those, you get approximately 323 rounded to the nearest foot. All right, and so finally, let's look at an SAT type question. Uh, here we have triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F. Which of the following is equal to the ratio B, C over A, B? So what we need to recognize here is that these triangles, um, while maybe not congruent, are similar because if this is 90 and this is 32, this would have to be 58 degrees for these to add up to 180. This is 90, this is 58, this would have to be 32 degrees. So from here we can do an angle-angle proof because we can see that all three angles are congruent to each other. Even though we don't know the side lengths, we can still say that these are similar just from the angles. So now looking at which of the following is equal to the ratio BC over AB. So BC would be this side. A, B would be the hypotenuse. So let's call 32 degrees our reference angle. So that would be opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be sine of 32 would give us B, C over A, B. So we want to do the same thing in the other triangle, sine of 32 and the other triangle would give us this would be our opposite side and this would be our hypotenuse so that would be df over de now let's look at our choices here see if we have anything like that yes that would be b so that is one possible way to do this problem and that is kind of what the sat problems are all about they are um, asking you to use your knowledge in unfamiliar ways. So here I use my trig knowledge, but this is not like a standard trig question where we're just finding an angle measurement, finding a side length here. We're using our knowledge of similar tri similar right triangles in these ratios uh, to come up with our solution here. So that is all I have for you today. Make sure you have those examples in your notes. Let your teacher know if you have any questions. Have a good day.